I'm literally beyond speechless because eight years ago when I was diagnosed or whenever you're diagnosed, but I was diagnosed eight years ago, you feel like it's the end of the world. You feel like, why is this happening to me? It's depressing and it sucks and it's hard and it's the hardest thing I've probably ever been through. And at that time, you don't see the light. You don't see it getting better. You don't see, you just think the worst when it, when you're diagnosed with this or really anything for that matter. And um, I never thought I would share my story. I never thought I would share my journey. I never thought I would be where I am because how scary it was in the beginning and how shitty it was and just how negative I was about it. And now I'm sharing my journey every single day with so many other people. And I didn't realize how much thought went into diabetes until I started sharing it because you just do it every day. It's in your brain. It's your life. It's you. It's who you are. And um, it's crazy to me. And I'm so, so thankful for a hundred and thousand of you on TikTok. Like I never, ever, ever in a million years thought I would be here. If you knew me in high school, I was so shy. I I hated going in front of the class. I hated doing anything that was the, was the center on me. I hated it. And now like I'm just sharing my journey and I'm helping other people and you're helping me and I can't thank you guys enough. So if you follow me on TikTok, thank you so much. If you're subscribed to my channel on YouTube, thank you so much. If you follow me on Instagram, thank you. It means the world to me and I'm really excited to see where this journey will go. Um, I, I don't know, I'm speechless and I just can't believe this is me. This is my life and wow. Do things that scare you because you never know what it's going to do. You never know. Go after your goals. Do things that you never thought you would do. I'm not the same person I was five years ago. And I'm so, so incredibly thankful for that. And yeah, this community is everything. So thanks, guys. Let me film a what I eat in a day. You're in my window still, so you can see stuff from our dishwasher. But yeah, I'm like, let me film a what I eat in a day. So yeah, I come downstairs. There's like leftover shrimp that my mom made last night, so I had a couple pieces. It's 10 a.m. I slept in this morning because, you know, it's Friday. That's my day off. And then I was like, you know, this pasta from last night looks delicious too. So why don't we just have a couple bites? This is realistic, all right? Okay? Mm-hmm. Here we go. But I'm just having a couple, like, not hungover or anything, just craving, all right? Like, our dishwasher is so loud. I mean, our wash machine. Also, why the hell is it snowing? Like, no, what the heck? It was finally getting warm out. This sucks, but like, it's pretty, but come on, man. All right, so I had a couple more noodles, whatever. Who cares? This is real life. This is what we're eating today. Our body deserves it. It deserves good food and things that we crave. I don't care. <laughs> so, um, I don't know what I'm actually going to have for breakfast. Maybe like a banana and an egg. We don't really have a lot of food in the house right now, but um, I'm going to have a smoothie later because we're going to go grocery shopping. So, I'm going to get stuff for my smoothie and go from there. All right. Happy Friday, everyone. Simple little breakfast. Hard boiled egg with everything but the bagel seasoning, banana, peanut butter, and a little bit of chia seeds. And then later I'll have my smoothie after my workout, if I'm gonna work out, or I'll do yoga, we'll see. So this is my blood sugar, no signal, but I think it's around like 90, probably going up now because I had the um, pasta. Yeah. All right, so blood sugar is currently 165 and rising. Um, I didn't even both, like take insulin for all that. The banana, you know, kind of gonna spike me. I had pasta, I just took some insulin to cover, but we're gonna see what happens. I got a comment the other day saying like on TikTok and they were like, you never have high blood sugars. I do, I do have high blood sugars. Um, I don't share everything on TikTok cause like 
diabetes is a lot. Like I would be on my phone more than I already am. But um, I guess I should just be more transparent in that way too. Like I have high blood sugars, I have low blood sugars. I'm all over the place. It's different every day. So I just want to put that out there. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll show my blood sugars throughout the day because that's already what I've kind of been doing. So I don't know why. Like I'm just feeling like really good right now and I think maybe because it's snowing so like that's a good excuse to stay home and like get things done that I've been needing to get done so let's go do some yoga after our show is over now we're 188 and rising baby you know maybe we'll just make this like a day with diabetes like a little bit you know see what it does because I think I'm gonna be home all day considering it's snowing um so yeah 188 and rising all right, so my blood sugar is currently 191, I believe. I think it might be steady. Um, we're gonna get day 27 yoga flow done. Um, I had to give myself a couple days rest, which was actually hard for me mentally, but I started to get like really sore and achy and I am still doing like my regular gym workouts, but I couldn't tell if it was from the yoga because I'm doing stuff that I've never really done before or if it's just from my gym workouts. I don't know. So I gave myself a, a couple days and um my body definitely needed it and that's the thing like we have to listen to our bodies and what it's trying to tell us and I think it was trying to tell me that I need to rest relax and like then I can get back into it like I'm starting to feel a little bit better but I don't want to push myself too hard because I think I might have pulled something in my back my neck I don't really know but if you struggle with like taking rest days like that's okay I feel the same way um but you have to listen to your body your body needs to like recoup or like relax so then you can build more muscle and get stronger and stuff so yeah but we're gonna get this yoga done um i've been loving yoga it does make me feel really good we're on day 27 i was supposed to be done a couple days ago but that's all right um it's all on my own time it's free on youtube and yeah and i might go to the gym later i might go on the elliptical or the stairs for some reason right now like this week or the past couple weeks like i'm more into doing cardio and like yoga so it changes all the time and that's okay just do what makes you happy and what makes you feel good so we're gonna get this workout done and it is smoothie time two bananas in one day that was weird okay so banana some blueberries i just can't live without my smoothie okay it's my favorite part of my day it's so good we add some strawberries I think there's about 80 grams of carbs in this smoothie, so don't, don't quote me on it. If you're going to make one, make sure you measure if you have diabetes. All right, and then we put one date in it. I get the pitted dates because one time I didn't know the dates weren't pitted and I almost destroyed my blender. And then I recently started using collagen. Um, yeah, so I do two scoops of the collagen vital proteins, collagen, peptides, which is kind of like doesn't really mix that well. So sometimes you get like chunks of it and I'm like, Ugh, but it, it's not bad. I kind of just want to see like if it helps with, you know, hair, skin, nails, all that joint health. It's supposed to have a lot of good benefits to it. Who knows? But all right, we're going to add water and blend. All right. Look at this color. Beautiful. consistency though wow this is a very someday i'm gonna have a good camera but for now i still use my phone how satisfying i have to say this is my favorite color and someday when i have merch i'm gonna make t-shirts and we're gonna make it this color okay Look at my hair. And blood sugar is 114 going down, so perfect time for a smoothie. Oh yeah. All right, so my blood sugar is currently 114 and steady. Um, kind of feel like it might go up, I don't know. We'll see what happens, but I'm gonna shower and get ready for my day at noon time. <laughs> Today is such a lazy day, but I literally don't care. Like, it's so needed sometimes, but my blood sugar is currently I can't remember, I'm gonna put it right here, but we're looking good even after that smoothie. So I don't even know you guys, some days, whatever. But anyways, um, yeah, so I'm gonna go have lunch 
in a second. This is very up close and personal. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna make, but also I kind of want to make blueberry muffins, but I don't feel like going to the store, so I'm kind of hoping we have stuff for muffins. But if not, I don't know. What, what am I gonna have for lunch? Maybe some pasta, maybe some more shrimp. <laughs> we'll see. A very random day, finishing the shrimp, and I'm 95. I was gonna make a salad, then I was like, nope, we're having this pasta. All right, so now we are 133 and rising. So I see a high blood sugar in our future. Blood sugar's high and continues to eat M&Ms. <laughs> And now I'm 78, so there's that. If you saw my last um, new skincare routine, um, if you saw that whole YouTube that I posted before this one, I am still loving it. My skin has never felt so good. It is um, by Set Apart Studio. You can find them on Instagram. This is a facial serum. But I have the face wash, the moisturizer, and then I got the hair oil, or like hair, yeah, I think it's hair oil. But oh my God, I am obsessed. Like, not that you can really tell in this lighting, but like, like, I feel like the bags under my eyes just, like, went down. Like, everything just feels really good. So, I totally recommend their Instagram, Set Apart Studio. I don't get anything. I'm just recommending things that are working for me. I'm back in my bed again. If you can't find me, this is where I am. I love my bed. And it's still raining out. The snow stopped finally. So, yeah. But, um, we just had a lot of fun doing handstands in my basement. Um, definitely gonna be sore tomorrow. My blood sugar dropped to 78. I went upstairs and I had, stairs and I had a few more M&Ms. And now I'm, like, 125 and rising. So, we're gonna have dinner soon, too. Hope you're all having a lovely day whenever you're watching this. Oh, my goodness. This looks amazing. Mmm. I am just eating so good today. Oh my god, I got a strawberry sundae. I'm so excited with French vanilla ice cream. Mmm. We're 91 and going down, baby, so. It's okay. All right, you guys. So, if you have diabetes and you haven't checked your blood sugar today, let's check it together. So, we're going to see what it is. I had ice cream, pasta. I ate a lot of food. But for some reason, I kind of feel like my sugar might be good. But if you feel like your sugar might be bad and you don't want to check it, let's just check it, okay? It'll make us feel better to know what we are. And if it's a bad number, that's all right, okay? My phone's dying. Oops. We're never alone. And we got this. Okay. Let's see. 130. So that's pretty good. That's really good, actually, for having all that so good sugar now what was your sugar let me know in the comments um like i said if it was bad that's okay if it was good that's okay like just taking care of ourselves so um i am going to watch some netflix um my butt cheek hurts really bad i fell down my ice stairs like two months ago maybe if you saw it on my instagram story it's one of the, in one of the highlights but um the bruise was like this big on my butt cheek and I probably should have went to the doctors because it still hurts and today it's like really it's really hurting so we're gonna um we're gonna go to bed we're gonna watch a movie and I took some Advil so hopefully that helps the pain subside um but yeah yeah it was a really good day besides this hurting but that's all right um I hope you guys enjoyed this little youtube day in the life of diabetes what i ate today and i also think i'm gonna put in the little video because i hit a hundred thousand on tiktok that's why the balloons are right over there <laughs> so um i think i'm gonna put that video in here too which you would already see it because this is the end of my youtube so anyways thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and also follow me on instagram i hope you all have a lovely night or whenever you're watching this and i'll see you in my next vlog bye guys